I think that there was a reluctance to talk about sweat and uh, bowel movements and things like that because it just wasn't done. It just, uh, it just wasn't considered polite fair. So when you talked about it, you talked about uh, manly men and codes of honor and things like that and loving their horse and those kinds of things. But it just wasn't done. People just didn't talk about that. And this, the cinematic realism has changed that a lot. I mean, some of the, some of the pioneer, uh, no pun intended, but some of the folks like uh, Sam Peckinpah, who really changed the dynamics of uh, American Westerns, uh, the portrayal of American Westerns in film. And all of a sudden you had cowboys uh, and others in movies wearing dirty shirts and having big sweat uh, stains in their, in their hats. And if you look at films from the 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s, up until about the mid-60s, everybody looked like they just came out of a laundromat or a dry cleaners. Uh, and so it, it just wasn't done. Zane Gray, even Louis, Louis L'Amour, whom I've read everything he's ever written, really didn't talk that much about, about the, the, the hygiene uh, or the lack of it that was the hallmark of life back then. So I just thought it was an opportunity to, when you're talking about this, especially when you're taking somebody who's a pr child of privilege and moving him into this, and this again is a guy who's used to bathing and shaving and getting haircuts and clean linen and things like that, and all of a sudden he's, by his own decision, he's moved into this world that stinks and that's uncomfortable and that's dirty, and he doesn't really like it because he's, he's a child of privilege and he has some th second thoughts about whether or not this was a good idea to bail out of this nice clean home that he's got and put himself in these circumstances.